Hey, what's up, Firechild Nation? Chad Allen here, and welcome to Firechild Video Sparks, Episode 1. Now, what these sparks are, they're basically quick tips. Easy to do, little tips that'll help you in your day-to-day -day blender work, uh, maybe make things a little bit easier for you, cover a few in interesting and simple topics, nothing advanced, nothing time-consuming, just a quick tip. And that'll enable me to do more videos in between our feature length advanced tutorials because let's face it, a 40 minute tutorial takes a lot of production time. Little two or three minute tutorials like this are a lot easier to do. They're informative, they're helpful, and that's what we're aiming to do. So what we're starting off with here is we're starting off with making a seamless backdrop. I'm gonna help you guys set up your first Blender Studio. If you think photography, you've got a backdrop, your camera, you've got lighting all to enhance your subject. Well, we don't have a subject in the scene we're rendering here, but uh, we're gonna do step one and that's making the seamless backdrop. So let's go ahead and create, let's just click in here, create a new scene and get rid of that default cube. Now what we're gonna do for our backdrop is we're gonna use a plane. So hit shift A, mesh, plane. And I'm gonna scale it up. Now how big you scale it is completely up to you. It depends a lot on how big your, your model is. Uh, things of that nature, but we're going to go ahead and just hit S6, enter. You may need to scale yours more or less, that's completely up to you. Six is good for, for example. So what we can do next is we need to bring this back wall up. So we'll hit tab to go into edit mode and we can hit, here's a nice little tip. Uh, you can select between vertex face and edge modes right here, or you can hit control tab and select them from the pop-up. Now that's helpful if you're working with a lot of geometry and you don't want to keep going back here and click and coming back up and coming back here. You just control tab, go to edge, select what you're gonna do and move on. So we're in edge mode. We'll select this back edge, hit E to extrude, grab on the Z, oh, I hit right click. So let's hit G and Z and bring it up. Now you want to kind of get it uh, the same height as it is uh, this way and this way, but uh, doesn't have to be exact. So there we have a backdrop. I'm bringing it up a little bit more. Something like that. We have a backdrop now, but we have this real harsh 90 degree angle in here, which will not look good. So let's go ahead and go back into object mode right quick. And we'll do a modifier and add modifier subdivision surface. I'm sure you guys have seen this one used a lot. Um, we'll go ahead and bump it up from one to two or three. Uh, whatever you need and then under tool tab if it's not up on the left over here just hit T for tool and then we can go to smooth and that'll smooth it out so now we're starting to get this seamless uh, background but it's not quite right so let's tab back into edit mode and let's uh, flush out these edges here because we want these edges to be sharp we just want this one that 190 degree angled edge to be smooth so what we can do is hold down shift and right click on all the edges excluding the 90 degree angle edge. And if we hit N on our keyboard, it'll bring up this menu. And if you look right here under transform, you've got mean crease. Now, if we increase that, watch what happens to our model. Bam. Since we didn't have that 90 degree angle selected, it didn't flush that one out. So we've got this cool edge, but we can take it a step further and hit control R and put a loop cut right in the middle right here because that'll give us a flat surface to put our subject then the curve starts so we can do the same on the back wall so now we've got this flat area then we've got our curve and then we've got a flat back wall which is fantastic it's exactly what we want tab back in object mode and that's it guys seamless backdrop is created it's good to go you can add your material to it and you know that's something we'll discuss in a future tutorial but there's your seamless backdrop. Your first step of creating your studio is done. And we got it done in about four minutes. Uh, so that's not too bad at all. Once you're doing it yourself, I'm sure you guys can accomplish this way under four minutes. But that's the quick tip for today. My name is Chad Allen. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out firechildvideo.blogspot.com for information on upcoming tutorials and news and anything concerning the motion graphics and design world. Um, you'll find it there. You can also subscribe to us here on YouTube. And In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Please subscribe. In fact, look, watch here. I'm going to pop it up. Bam!
<laughs> uh, you see those in every video on YouTube, so why should I be any different? You can also subscribe to us on Facebook. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyway, uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say, what you think of these quick tips. I will talk to you guys later. Uh, feature link tutorials coming very soon, as well as new Sparks. Once again, my name is Chad Allen. Have a good one, guys, and happy blending. Take it easy.